Give me some energy weapons. Give me some explosives. And what else should I pump up? I don't even know. Lockpick. I could bump it up to 70. Yeah, let's do that. I can open up that hard door if I do that. There we go. Boom. Okay. What do I want now? Wait, step. It's basically everything I already had. Cool. Except I believe I do have Demolitions Expert now. Uh, yeah, there it is. All explosive weapons do an additional 20% damage. I'm definitely taking that, because once you get the third rank of that, <coughs> holy shit, your nuclear grenades start to do unfair amounts of damage. What? I do have a lockpick skill 75. Don't I? I thought I did. Didn't I just put it? Why are my skill... Oh yeah, because I have a headache. God damn it. There you go. Boom. Done. Now we get to open up hard locks now, which are going to be just great, because my lock picking skill is so good already. And we need to add hard into the name. Oh, damn it. Oy. Come on. No. Uh. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Ugh. This episode's going crazy. When did it start getting funny? When did this episode start becoming fun? It, it didn't start out that great. They just got insane. You may want to run now, too. But you didn't. So get wrecked. Get wrecked as your brain sinks slowly into your body. Get wrecked. Let me tell you what, get wrecked. Okay. We dealt with way too goddamn many sentry bots in this stupid area. Hopefully, I think we are now done with the sentry bots, however. To the point where... Ooh, archive, security safe. The Magna Carta. But, okay, I'll take it. I'm pretty sure that'll be worth a pretty decent amount of caps. There's a hammer. Not really sure what I could use that for. Why would you put the Magna Carta back here? This isn't really a safe spot to put it. I'm being completely honest. If the lock was that easy to lockpick... Oh, God. Well, this is obviously must be why this room was so well guarded. Because there's a bunch of turrets in here. Sneak attack on a turret that's deactivated. Uh, that actually hurts me. I suppose that does make sense. I mean, they explode. There we go. And I got that one. Okay, well... Got the Magna Carta. Cool. What am I going to do with that? I'm not sure. I'll probably sell it to that guy for free money. Yep. Well, almost free money. I mean, I had to fight through a couple sentry bots to earn it, but... The enemy is at the gates. Now, shut up. I'm going to come kick your freaking ass. You douchebag. You've breached our defenses, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. That's great. The declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope. The one thing that cries out, we are a free nation. I agree. You must be Button Gwyneth, second sign of the declaration. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. Yep. That should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with that my loyalty to the states is legendary. Indeed. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. And you will lose. What will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! Definitely the pistols at dawn. That sounds pretty fucking cool. That's quite brave of you to potentially sacrifice your life even for a document. This is no mere document, sir. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. Indeed. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George the Third of Great Britain. What a douchebag that guy was. The greatest symbol kind of. of this free nation. You do realize this is about five hundred years now. Yeah, it's the same way we can make a compromise. Uh okay, yeah, let's try this. Broken promises and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's craft, but I will not succumb to such Tom Hmm. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed. May I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well, in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. I highly doubt that's not going to be that great. There's more to this than you realize. Hmm. 
Allow me to ponder my decision. Nope, sorry, I've got to have that calculation at all costs. How about that? Please explain. <clears throat> but I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, I'm Thomas Jefferson. I've returned to liberate the decorator. Huh? You were right. I'm a Redcoat spy in this place. How about let's go for that? Interesting. <clears throat> I had a plan for just this sort of situation. Perhaps this will prove that you're here as an ally rather than an enemy. Mm -hmm. We create a forgery of the declaration and send it off to Great Britain. That sounds like it might work. Just the delay we need to get the document out of here safely. Cool. I'd love to be at court when King George finds out he wasted all his resources gaining a forgery. <laughs> we have to be cautious, though. The British scholars would recognize a poor duplicate almost immediately. Yes. How can we create a convincing forgery? If you were to bring me some iron gall ink... Which was used to write it, I do know that. Perfect duplication. Yep. The best place to find some would be in the Arlington Library. Which I, in fact, have. Which is why have. I have been unable to do this myself. After all, I can't abandon... Yep. I'll try and get the ink for you. Uh, I actually do have the ink. Excellent. I hear the thumping of the cannonade getting closer by the minute. Soon our walls will be breached, and the last bast- Yeah, whatever. So, uh, I have a few questions. Uh, I have to go now. Yeah, it turns out I do actually Saints have the alive. ink. You've done it! Quickly, let me have the ink, and I will produce the copy of the- Yep. Here you are. A perfect, a perfect copy. copy. That should give old George something to think about. What are the next orders from the Congress? Hmm. Keep the decorations safe, blow yourself up, do whatever you want. Yeah, let's go for that. Don't let anyone take it. It will be done. The only way to get the declaration now would be to pry it from my cold, dead fingers. Right. It's been an honor meeting you. I can see you are indeed a patriot among men. Absolutely. Now go. You'll have no further trouble from my men. Godspeed. Of course, I could just kill this guy and take a second declaration of independence. That would be a real trippy son of a bitch. Just to give them both, but honestly, you probably wouldn't accept it. I would just probably put it in my room. Yep. But I honestly don't think... Oh, a button wig. Button's wig. If you actually take that, that's actually pretty cool. Supply. How about supply wardrobe? Oh, damn. This guy is loaded with stuff. Cool. I want it. It's pretty surprising that this thing, like, did survive the nuclear fallout when all these other books didn't. It's pretty cool. Uh, do you mind if I open that door, though? Ooh, whiskey. Set. That's pretty funny. Alright, well, let's see if we can't open this. Do -do -do -do. Unlock all the doors, unlock all them, and unlock them. Er, well, I guess I can't unlock that. There's the utility door. Alright, let's see what this is. Godspeed. Yep, whatever. Ah, here we go. Safe. Oh, pretty cool stuff. Declaration of... <laughs> I could just take the Declaration of Independence. Aw. Uh, I feel kind of bad about doing that. I think it deserves to remain inside this safe. In a way. Now, I don't lose karma for it. Well, now I have both. Uh, where is it? Declaration of Independence. And then we have the... Uh, uh, forged decoration. Huh. Nah, I think I'm gonna leave it. Just be symbolic. Why not? No real reason to keep it. Just leave the decoration inside. Oop, I accidentally stepped on the wire. There we go. Ah, uh, now I can hear again. Not that it really matters to you guys. You guys can always hear the music going on. I can't, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, well, we do have Button Gwinnett. To, uh, who else is this? Apparently John Hancock was also taken. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know who that is. That's Franklin. We got John Adams. Eh. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. We got Edward Root. Well, I don't even know who that is. Thomas Jefferson. I know who that is. Oh, wow. Thomas Jefferson's right there. Dude, let's see if we can get Thomas Jefferson out. Activate unit. Unit offline. God damn it. Unit present. Unit offline. Activate. Let's notice. Okay. Unit directions. 
Okay. That's unfortunate. I can't call that guy in. What about this guy? Who do we got here? Oh, this is just a backup. Let's see if I can activate him. You're not programmed. So? Oh, fine. I guess I gotta program it myself. Programming. Ooh, who should I go for? John Wilson. Edward Thug. Hmm. Who do I want? Uh, let's get Franklin in on this. You're not present. Okay, how about Button Gwinnett? And these guys will work? Oh, I got this guy. Who's this? Did I just click on that I didn't realize? John Hancock? No, Thomas Jefferson. Ah, here we go. Uh, execute transfer. Transfer completed. And let's activate this guy. Back. Activate. Ta-da! Got him. Ta let's see. What's he gonna do? We got Thomas Jefferson on this shit. What's he gonna do? Hey there, Thomas Jefferson. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is probably how you would have gotten, like, the Declaration of Independence. You would have gotten Thomas Jefferson to give it to me. What's up? Uh, you gonna do anything? That's boring. I'm not gonna do anything. How about John Wilson? Can I get him on? Nope. Of course not. Hmm. Do, do, do. Uh. No. Got protection. Made turret. Yeah, whatever. This is all boring shit. Who cares? There's the elevator. Well, let's go show him Thomas Jefferson, I suppose. Yeah, over here, buddy. Come on, we gotta go show him the actual living, breathing Thomas Jefferson as a robot. Who is the slowest robot in the world? Get going. Go faster. Thomas Jefferson. Go faster. Oh my god, Thomas Jefferson, you are the slowest son of a bitch in the world. Go! Jesus, Thomas, you are slower than the stupid in the Gravekeeper guy. Remember that shit I had to deal with way back in Majora's Mask days? Hell, I had to deal with an Ocarina of Time, kind of. Well, if I wanted to go for the heart container, I would have had to deal with it. Okay, seriously, Thomas, you just gotta go. Go, 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 go. You are so close. Just go, go, go. What the hell are you doing? Are you kidding me? You are not. What on earth are you doing? Just go, Thomas Jefferson. Screw it. Oh wait, is he gonna like go inside this thing? This is John Hancock's. Where's Jefferson's? This is Franklin's. There's Adams. Where's Jefferson? That's Button. Where the hell is Jeff there's Jefferson? Is he trying to go inside of it? I don't even care anymore. Just screw it. It's not even worth it. Yo, button Gwinnett. What's up? Godspeed. Yeah, I gotta go turn in this forge document. Because that sounds cool. So, I didn't actually get to return the Declaration of Independence, but maybe a hundred years from now, people will actually come in searching for the real one, and they will find it. And thus the story of the forged document, the forged Declaration of Independence, shall be enacted. Oh, and also the story of how I almost got killed by Super Mutants. There will be many tales of that. Many tales to tell my children. There'll be about a hundred. Surprise! Oh my god, I hate super mutants. Super mutants are not fun. They're like babysitting. I don't even know what would be the same as like the super mutants. Just not not fun people. Not fun people at all. All right, so Chamber, get out my inventory. Take some more stim packs. I'm down to 188. Jeez, these guys are just destroying my stim pack. Oi, why did it take that? You have, hmm, where did the paperweight go? Paperweight, there you are. Alright, well, time to leave this place. <coughs> I figure this is pretty much good enough for a session. Once I leave this place, I should pretty much call it quits. And upgrade. God damn it. Why does everything want to kill me? 
literally everything just out to get me in this game. Get out of here. I know it. Oh, God. Ow. Okay, let's try beating this guy up with our fists. Ow. Oh, what's the matter? You lost your sledgehammer. Oh, I can't pick it up. Oh, too bad. Give me your stuff. Why do you have six frag grenades? That is just a little too many. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm just tired at this point. I'm just tired of all these mutants. Caveat, kitties. Huh. Oh, yeah, I can get my prizes, can I? Redeem voucher. Cool. What do I want? Do I want the glamorous great mentats, the brilliantly fairy mentats, or the uh, servantly orange mentats? Let's go for this. Aren't these drugs? Sorry, I need a prize voucher. Okay, I think I did... Uh, yep, I re did all the vouchers I could get. Alright, so how many vouchers did I take just to get all these Mentats? Let's see, yep, I got them all. Fairy, there's the Grape. Charisma plus 5, Intelligent plus 5. Oh, damn, these things are good. What was the other one? Perception plus 5. Oh, wow. These are actually really good. I got two of each. Um, The Intelligence plus 5 was probably the best ones I could have grabbed. Although the Charisma plus 5 wouldn't hurt too much, honestly. Yeah, but why the hell would they put drugs inside of a... Unless I'm completely wrong. I know you can get addicted to Mentats, so I'm confused here. Or can you get addicted to Mentats? I don't even know. I'm pretty sure you could. I mean, they'd be a little too broken if you couldn't get addicted to Mentats. I could try taking all six of them see if I get addicted. Just to test it, honestly, but I don't really need to. So, that is, in fact, that. I suppose I'll go head over to the ship and turn this shit in. But, honestly, I don't really feel like doing it immediately. Kind of fall out it out at this point. I'll fall out out. I'll fall out it. I, whatever, I'm done. Ugh, I just got beaten to shit by sentry bots. I just tried to push Thomas Jefferson through a door. I just beat up a bunch of freaking feral ghouls and didn't even get to show a single minute of it. That was kind of stupid. Probably the worst part of it. But you know what? Uh, I, I just I just need to sit down and take a break. And thus, that is the end of this Fallout episode. When we come back next time, we will explore the Capital Wasteland. Yep. Just end off the episode already. Stop stalling. Boy. Nice place you got here. Kind of. Not, not really. Pretty shitty place. See you guys.